There's some people. that didn't make it. And being from a small town, you know everybody. As the sun comes up this morning, people in Greenfield are grieving the loss of lives, as well as the city they called home. Yeah, just a lot of emotions, as you heard there. They're seeing the worst of the storm damage with parts of the city just leveled. Tuesday night, Iowa State Patrol confirmed multiple people died and more than a dozen others were hurt as that tornado ripped through town. There's a lot of questions right now. We're working to get them answered, but here is what we do know right now. At least two long track tornadoes touched down in Iowa Tuesday. The National Weather Service will head out to affected areas to measure the scale of those storms. So like we said, multiple people have, have died. That has been confirmed. An exact number has not been released. The city of Greenfield has been under a curfew all night with only neighbors allowed in. That expires at 7 a.m. Now, right now, the road to recovery is just beginning for Greenfield as they work to clear out the damage and look to rebuild. Local 5's Megan McPherson has been in Greenfield this morning. She joins us there again. Megan, what can you tell us right now? Samantha Chinu, good morning. Right now, we're just about a mile outside of the center of town here in Greenfield and the scene behind me here, the destruction and devastation left behind as the sun starts to come up is quite hard to look at. I'm going to take a step outside of the camera here and let you take a look behind me. You can see just the level of destruction and damage that was left behind by this tornado. Tree limbs, there are fences that are just completely ripped apart. Back in the distance out there, there is a home, the roof completely damaged, windows shattered, cars damaged. It's all just very hard to look at. Now we did have some video sent in of that violent tornado, which you can see on your screen here. It touched down at around 345 PM yesterday afternoon and just completely ripped through this small town of just over 2000 residents. Now there is a curfew in place here until 7 AM this morning, which is why we're currently in the outskirts of town. Only residents are being allowed into town and they do need to show identification for that. Um, but again, the, the cleanup efforts, the recovery efforts, it's going to be a long time going here in Greenfield. Um, this community is really rallying together, trying to process what has happened here, but a lot of damage and destruction left behind. Guys. Yeah, Megan, lots of damage, lots of destruction. We heard that woman there, very emotional. There's still people out there looking for their loved ones this morning. And it sounds like there is an organization though right now offering their help. Yeah, that's right, Chinu. The United Cajun Navy has been here since the tornado swept through the town yesterday. They are offering support, offering to help look for any loved ones that are missing. They're also offering resources. They have some more information on their Facebook page that you can check out if you're able. But again, if you are missing loved ones this morning, um, the United Cajun Navy is a great resource. They will be here throughout the morning and throughout the day today working to help find anybody that might be missing. All right, Megan, thank you. We'll check back in with you in a few minutes here. If you are able to get a hold of a loved one in Greenfield, be sure to call the Iowa Department of Public Safety Storm Lake Communications Center. That number right there on your screen. That is 712-732-1341. Governor Reynolds is expected to visit Greenfield this morning to assess damage with officials. Reynolds released a statement on Tuesday night offering her prayers to those in Greenfield, saying in part she's, quote, committed to providing the full resources of the state to supporting the response and recovery efforts. The governor also issued a disaster proclamation for 15 counties following the storms. The proclamation allows state off resources to be utilized for damage. It also activates the Iowa Individual Assistance Grant Program and Disaster Case Advocacy Program. This this helps provide support to those who lost their homes, cars, and need helping f help in finding clothes or food. And as we've mentioned, the city of Greenfield was one of the hardest hit on Tuesday. Local 5, we were on scene Tuesday night as people who live there attempted to just make sense of all of this devastation. In our team coverage this morning, one of those people shared their story with our Jake Brand. The cat just went when she heard the roaring of the like the train. She was scared to death and she ran and then it was done. It was done. It wasn't even five minutes. It was done. And I came upstairs and looked around and looked at my door front door. I mean, you see the my damage on my roof and my um, chimney and not like the, a lot of the other houses around and looked outside and it was just devastating. 
devastating. You know, you see it on television, but it's different when it happens to you and your house and your town and your people. It's different. And I just, I've heard there's some people that didn't make it. And being from a small town, you know everybody. But I know as you see, everybody's out helping everybody and it's like you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. But I know that we'll rebuild and everybody will help each other because that's what our town does. Wow, just powerful, powerful insight there from her. In a matter of minutes, people's lives were changed forever as family homes were demolished by the storms. The local high school is opening its doors as shelter to those now without a home and police are setting up a place to grab food and water. On Tuesday, Iowa State Patrol commented on the resilience from Greenfield residents. The Greenfield community has shown incredible unity during this challenging time with neighbors and friends displaying remarkable compassion, empathy, and support. This morning, hospitals surrounding Adair County are helping take in patients after Adair County Hospital had to evacuate everyone early Tuesday because of the severe weather threat. Mercy One confirmed to us its Adair location sustained some damage, but did not comment on the extent. At 538 now, we are continuing to track power outages across central Iowa. So as the high winds, the rain and hail hit neighborhoods, thousands of Iowans were without power for hours Tuesday night. As of this morning, we're still seeing quite a few power outages on Mid-American map as of 530 over 1000 people are without power in West Des Moines nearly 400 people in Urbandale. Johnston High School is canceling classes today and asking staff to not be in the building according to the school's website. The school is closed today because of extensive storm damage to the building. It's also canceled its senior awards night but says all seniors will get their cords and awards before graduation. Multiple other schools including DMPS and Waukee let students out early Tuesday because of the severe storms. All right, take a look at this here. Crews had repaired and blocked off roads because of flash flooding Tuesday in Des Moines. At least six inches of water rushed down Euclid in both directions. Des Moines police say they had encountered nearly a dozen stalled cars in flooded streets as of Tuesday morning. But one Des Moines resident hit the brakes when she saw the water in front of her. I'm not going through it <laughs> because I know, like I said, my husband went through some water like that and it ruined his engine. Yeah. And I think I'm too low to get over that curb. I don't know, I might have to just wait for no cars to come in and go down this street backwards. Now, luckily for Sandy, who you just heard from, she and her small car turned around and went around the water after the Iowa DOT blocked Euclid. So if you're stuck in a flash flooding event in your car, officials say the best thing to do is to find high ground as fast as you can. If that's not possible, climb on top of your car and call 911.